Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. First leg, Mensa to throw first. Game on. Chris Murphy in the commentary box for me, Dan Dawson, for this one. I'm sure that was an ambition of his, Dan, to be the greatest German-speaking dart player. But it's one that's been fulfilled. And yes, 100. Christoph Ratajski has been fabulous in qualifying for every European Tour event he's tried to qualify for so far this year. Giving no one else in Poland a chance. 16. The Menso Solivic, as you mentioned, was the second best player on the European Tour last year. And the second best player in the European Championship itself. But we've seen the number four seed and the number six seed in Whitlock and Wade eliminated from this tournament. We're about to see three, two and one in consecutive matches. Do any of them go the same way? Solivic hasn't been beaten at this stage of European Tour event since September 2015. Well, Ratajski, even though he has qualified for all the European Tour events so far this year, he has not gone past the last 32 stages yet. Could this be the time? And he must feel some sort of... The pressure is off a bit because the way they do these qualifiers, they're doing three at a time. He qualified for the first three all on the same night, qualified for the next three all on the same night, and so he gets to come into this thinking, well, look, I know I'm going to be at the next two. And it's only some of the top seeds who know that they can be in whichever tournaments they want. The other guys have got to come through various qualifiers that might be held later down the line. They might think, this is my last chance for a while. Had this conversation with Paul Nicholson yesterday, and he concurred to your line of thinking there, Dan. As Sullivan lands double 18 to take the first leg. But yeah. When you're an unseeded player, especially coming through the UK and European qualifiers, you're not sure when you're next going to appear on the European Tour stage, and that in itself wow, brings a bit of added pressure. OK, you. for this one, they did the qualifiers for Gibraltar on the same mm. night, so some players know that they'd definitely be playing next weekend as well. The other side of it is not a lot of players like doing two in one night. Well, I'm right out of 40. Hey, look, with 25 grand on offer for the winner, and when you know, go back three years and we had eight different winners from eight events, Bolton it is quite possible that you see new winners on the European Tour. OK, Michael Van Gerwen has dominated over the last few years. But other guys have stepped up. Mensor Sulevich won his first PDC title on the European Tour. And Mensor <laughs> Sulevich has fired in a 180 as he looks to break the Ratajski throw. Winner of this will face Joe Cullen, who was not spectacular, 60. but was very, very good at taking out some crunch clutch finishes against Johnny Clayton. Made a very dangerous opponent look rather timid by the end of it. When it's 6-1. Oof, 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 oof. 3,000 German fans doing a seal impression there in honour of Ulf Cedar, the Finn, who we will see in the third round tomorrow afternoon. Cedar, a winner against Christo Reyes earlier. Matajski missing out 25. on his Mensur first maximum. 86. 86 for Mensor can do it in two darts. It's on. And it's there, it's an 11 dart break of throw, and Mensor Sulevich has started this in the manner of somebody who is number three seed for this tournament, dominating in the early stages. However, Chris, we like to dig around the stats and see when players have met each other in the past, see if we could read anything into what's happened in their recent history. What has happened between these two when they've met before? Well, the pair have met twice in the Bolton final of a European Championship. Really? Yeah, Christoph Ratajski won both of those finals. And I'm just going to leave it there. <laughs> yeah, they were using slightly different equipment. This is soft tip. Soft tip darts very big in mainland Europe, very big out in the Far East as well. A lot of soft tip played, especially here in Germany, but Austria and Poland, all over, in fact. 99. Majority of darts bars you go into, they, you often find that 
soft tip machines outnumber steel tip boards and Mensor did play a lot of soft tip stuff he's a guy who started on soft tip and moved over to steel tip but the two times that he has met Christoph Ratajski 2005 and 2008 both in finals both in European Championship final stage event One man out 40. he was beaten the yeah. gentle out for some revenge tonight certainly is and the first steel tip meeting between the pair and I'll tell you what Mensor Sulevich is serving it up for Christoph Ratajski so far averaging well in excess of 100 after two and a half legs Ratajski a long way behind 99. in that department and he could well find himself three legs down if Sulevich can take out a big finish Oof, just a little bit high 60. but not the end of the world but he only comes away with 60 because he does leave a two darter Christoph Ratajski needs to find the treble does find the treble double top Oh, sneaks it in the corner. It is a break back for Ratajski. Full flag, Christoph the throw first. Came on. Well, that was snuck in that top corner, as you said, Dan. Footballer would have been proud of one like that. But Ratajski would be proud of that visit. One, three, nine to kick off this leg. And all of a sudden, it looked like Sulevich was running away with it. The Paul has pegged him back. Well, look, Ratajski, although he doesn't play any other PDC stuff, the way he's going, I mean, he's going to, at the end of this tour, even if he lost this game to Mensor Sulevich, he'd have still won seven grand of PDC prize money. That puts him around about the top hundred in the world. He's above the likes of Ryan the Lion Palmer and Adam Hunt. And we know he's going to pick up more money in the next two events well, and the way that he is dominating qualifying he could well not only keep on pushing up those rankings but he is very very likely to go on and make the European Championship final itself that's guaranteed a few thousand pounds of first round and he could well have a run I mean he's played major tournaments he played the lakeside just a few months ago and he made the second round he was only beaten deciding set by Darius Labanowski. Yeah, if you just look at it without taking into account how little he plays in the PDC, it seems like something of a mismatch because he, before this tournament was 105 places below his opponent mm. in the world rankings. It doesn't really tell the story. No, well, look, evidently Christoph Potaski is, is not a man who right now wants to be spending every other weekend at the Barnsley Metrodome. Now, that is his right. I cannot understand that decision. They've got a pirate-themed water park, but he has decided that he doesn't want to do that. So he's not done juice. He's played these European qualifiers, and he has acquitted himself very well. I just prefer the big stage. No signs of stage fright. He's about to give Mensa a fright, though. Don't bust it, Mensa. 83. There we go. Christoph, you require 84. 84, then, to level up. Straight in the treble. And he clip it off. Game show on the full flag. He could just chuck Christoph it straight in. And from 2 0 down to the number three seed in the European Championship runner up of last year, the second best player in the whole European Tour system of darts, 100. Christoph Ratajski, the Eastern European qualifier, has levelled the match at two apiece and is giving as good as he's getting, even if the average is. There's a bit of a difference between them. When I say a bit, I mean 20 points. More than. Well, yeah, just like 30. to uh, just remind us that he can, can hit whatever he wants, Sullivan, doesn't he, with his use of the ball? I think that's his old soft tip days shining through. They love a bulls eye, the soft tip players. Well, it never did him any good against Ratajski, did it? It didn't. 
You're right. You're quite right. And maybe Christoph should remind him of that. I would point out that Mensal Suljevic, despite losing those two European Championship soft tip titles to Christoph Ratajski, he did win several anyway. In fact, one of those denied Suljevic defending that title. The other one, it denied him winning it for a third time in four years. There are two different codes who are running the tournaments. But Mensal was a very, very successful soft tip player, and we always knew he had talent you know we saw him turn up at the Worlds a few years back and looked a dangerous player an awkward player a confusing player to watch 59. but one we have come and to know and love 74. and respect because he has got better and better and better and is now a genuine threat in big tournaments oh he nearly bust it there Game but he hits double top Mensa it has been a tournament of silly busts and almost more silly busts. We have seen some things on the European Tour, haven't we? But yeah, Henderson in the previous match. Not quite up there with the Devon Peterson style of busting. No, we do, we do like. De Devon is always good for a, a miscalculation. Not always, but just occasionally. He once did an ultimate showboat bus where the dart that he bust with fell out of the board. Oh, big day. Not here this weekend. One and one and 40. We'll be seeing Devon at the World Cup of Darts. We'll be seeing Christoph at the World Cup of Darts for Poland. We will be seeing Mensor at the World Cup of Darts for Austria. 95. And of course, that World Cup of Darts here in Germany. Frankfurt at the start of next month. And it is a hotbed, isn't it, for darts fans, Germany. They come out in their droves to watch mm. these Aerosmiths. 3,000 in here tonight. Similar number for tomorrow with a final day of action here at the Happy Bet European Darts Grand Prix. Will Mensor Suljevic be competing in that final day looking for a second PDC title well right now he's got a battle on his hands because the Polish champion who's beaten him two soft tip finals and may look at the bullseye here one and one and 45 love a bullseye the soft tippers yeah it's a good leave 95 he could have left whatever he Christoph wanted because 57. he's not in town at the minute Double top. Game shown of six Solid leg. stuff. Christoph six Ritowski. leg shared. Seventh leg mentioned. Solivic should open up that two leg cushion early on and look to run away with it. But it's not going to be like that for the gentle. 58. Certainly not looking that way. This is a man, we talk about him being the second best player on the European Tour last year. This is a man who made it to at least the quarter finals in every event. Fan. But he didn't make it to the quarters of the European Darts tournament in Jena. That was the first time in well over a year. That's 64. That is an astonishing record. Lost to Kyle Anderson there. When you've seen some of the standard of darts that have been produced 60. by unseeded players. And indeed, you know, he could face Joe Cullen in the next round if he gets through this. Well, he will face Joe Cullen if he gets through this. I mean, Joe Cullen, I recall, well, in this very venue him. two years ago, denied Raymond Van Barneveld a place in the quarterfinals, even though Barney averaged 111. Joe Cullen talked about that earlier on today. He said, that was kind of the start of my second coming. I average 110, I beat Barney on this stage, beat him 6-2. You average 111, you only get two legs. So to actually make it through to a quarter-final in every single event, I mean, it, it's just an astonishing achievement. I know not everybody's throwing 110 averages at you, but people are throwing big, big stuff at you, and you have to deal with it. One and it's some 21. big stuff from Christoph Ratajski. 
to get to a finish before Mensor. And we've been saying that the soft tippers love a bullseye. Or a Taishke could be shooting at one. One as he steps up. Beating 161. 161. Once Solivic has stumbled out of the way. And he it. might get a dart. It is on. Oh. Fraction. One fraction man, away. But a great seven. setup shot in the end. And Mensor Solivic will hope for two darts for the leg. May get one, should get one. Needs a single 20 to get any at all. That's what he's got. One dart at tops. Game and one dart at tops is all he needs. And the Mensor headbutt. Seven. It's a double headbutt, because you know. You know it's an important one if he brings out the double headbutt. Came on. Yeah, clinical curl from Solyevic. Mentioned that run was ended, of reaching quarter-finals in Yena, but he has reached the last eight in the other two European Tour events this year. Beaten by Gerwin Price in Hildesheim and Jelle Klaassen in Saarbrücken. And that's what he's found, isn't it, Mensor Solibich, over the last couple of years? A level of consistency that just was not there before. Yeah, it's that's exactly what it is. Well, I, I think he's also 90. raised his overall level because Mensor is a guy... I talked about Raymond van Barneveld losing with 111 average. Mensor Solibic has beaten Marco van Gogh when he's been throwing 110 plus. When I ran out 40. In fact, that was at this, the same tournament I'm talking about. At this venue, at the Glass Palast, Marco van Gogh in 111 average, Mensor Solibic 109 and won it 6-4. That was a game where they were barging into wow, each other at the water table and all kinds of antics. It was phenomenal entertainment. Oh. Ratajski, he keeps firing a couple of darts into the treble bed. And look at that average. The av it was 20 points difference in the average. It is now closed to round about eight. Wow, <laughs> just decides to play a game of musical statues before a Chaiyashi can have a shot of this one six one, and he's put him right off. <laughs> Lovely little trick, Mensor. Absolutely superb stuff from that. Mensor Suljevic. Throws his darts and butts his head. Hits the treble. Nineteen bed. Vogue. Oh, look what he's left. It's the Mensor! Does he miss the Mensor? He does four. miss the Mensor! Two darts at it. He missed seven darts at it and went out the tournament last time in Saarbrücken. We've seen some strange legs of darts involving Mensor Solivic. That is right up there. Frozen, mid-throw, misses double 14, almost four. loses a leg. Mensor require 14. Double seven. Game and there it is. The, the bonus Mensa about seven. leaving double 14 a lot is you get some good practice on double seven eventually. Leg. And that leg, first. that weird, weird leg from Mensor Suljevic may be the one that turns this match in his favour. Ratajski had his chances, but Mensor Suljevic is now thrown for the match and a place in the last 16. I'll tell you what, if he was playing one of the speedier players, he might have had a dart in the back of his head then. <laughs> Look at that. 71% on the doubles from Mensor Solivic. And the two that he's missed were at double 14. Is this Mensor Solivic? 99. Is there another giant Austrian man who throws in this exact manner and... Headbutts imaginary opponents in celebration, but just doesn't hit double 14. Oh, Mensor. Well, he's 14. doing a, a pretty good impersonation, whoever he is. Mm. It could be Joe Cullen, he does. Solivic misses match start. Christoph the throne first. The Tyski breaks. One dart missed on the ball. 
two darts missed on double eight and now the question is Mensor should you have gone for the big finish should you have just laid up and left yourself something else one on because Christoph Ratajski with some iron ring stuff a one two three checkout to save his skin and remain in the tournament he is throwing to take it to a deciding leg 60. this game looked done and dusted it is far from done or dusted because the Polish champion well, right up, has fired in a ton 40 and look at the averages now just closing up again although this might push them a bit further well, right up, right up, 40. and he's actually got a better checkout percentage than Solivic now mm. Two missed at double 14, two at double eight, and one at the bullseye. But Ratajski, he's one flowing. Out. He is flowing. The first 180, been threatening to fire in one of those for quite some time. Mensor might have one back. One it's out. only a ton 14. 40, but Christoph Ratajski, for his best leg of the match, He's got to go 12 ball. He can't let Mensah have another go at the 1-6-1. One, one. Can he? Well, he's having a think, and he's beaten Solivic a couple of times before. Oh, dear me. And he's decided to play a mind game oh, with a man who he's got the better of in a different game. But now <laughs> Solivic has got a chance at 1-6-1. One, one. Hasn't any more. It probably won't matter. So it was a little bit cheeky. Christoph, you require it was bold when he's just missed the bullseye in the last leg. But he has to take it out that to vindicate is. the decision to do it. Mensur and he hasn't done 96. that. And Mensor's looking at 96 for the match. It has been a strange one, this. It has been a strange one, but an entertaining one. And double nine for Mensor will seal the deal and the, match. And the gentle the continues match. his record of not losing at this stage of a Euro Tour for a couple of years what a game of darts we've just seen Christoph Ratajski taking the defeat graciously perhaps a man who knows he will be back on the Euro Tour not only next week but in the next tournament as well